Greetings traveler and welcome to another one of my speed builds. For today our travels bring us to San Maishuno again and we're renovating the 920 Medina Studios apartment. And I know I told you that I'm moving and everything and I might not be able to put out a video today, but here it is. Um, I had some extra time so I was able to finish this apartment and make this video for you. So this is gonna be my last video before the move. This time for real, like, um, it's gonna be probably a two week break, I think. Like, I'm starting to see things more clearly now, but I still don't know how things are gonna be once I'm moved. Um, but I'm probably gonna be gone for two or maybe three weeks at most but I don't think it's gonna be any more than that, so expect my new video in two weeks or three weeks from now. But for today's video, I wanted to do something like more on the smaller scale because I didn't have the time to do something bigger. So I decided to renovate one of the apartments here in, in San Maishuno, and I ended up with this one. Um, the reason I chose this one is because it's like it's not too big, but it's also not too small It was just the perfect size uh, Plus I also love the Medina studio apartments because of the wall height They have the highest wall height, which is just perfect. It's my favorite wall height to build with so I definitely prefer the apartments with this type of wall height and my idea for this apartment was to have something uh, modern but inside a an old apartment complex, an old building. And this type of apartment is pretty popular in Europe in a lot of different countries. So it is inspired by a lot of different like European apartments like the Altbau apartments in Germany and the Swedish apartment and it's just like a fusion of a lot of different styles from Europe. Um, so you can see that we have these old fresco walls with the crown molding on the top which indicates that this is an old like fancy building, something that was probably inhabited by people of high status back in the good old days and it also has these linoleum floorings um i don't know why i ended up with these i was going through all types of different floorings i was initially gonna go for wood but then i decided to settle down for this linoleum because it has like this checkered pattern which i just fell in love with immediately so I thought that this is perfect for what I'm building and yeah we settled down for this linoleum floor and for the windows and also the main door I went for the ones from the Berlin set by Felix Andre and that's why like they give this apartment gives off this like uh, German vibe and I just really wanted to use the basic set by Harry and Felix in this apartment because I feel like I didn't really use it to its full potential in my last build. So I use a lot of pieces from that set here in this apartment in all the rooms. The kitchen, the living room and also the bedroom. The good news is that I didn't use that many CC creators for this build, so it's a limited CC build. I only used a few creators and not just any creators. I picked my top favorite CC creators and kept those in my mod folder and that's the whole reason behind creating this apartment. I just wanted to create something with the CC of my favorite creators. So those are obviously Felix Andre and Harry 
and there is also Pierre Sim, Charlie Pancakes, and Tuds. So those are my top five favorite CC creators and those are whom I used in this apartment. And all of the things are free but there are a few Patreon exclusive stuff. But the basic set will be available for public access pretty soon, I'm not sure when, but this month is almost over so it should be very very soon so yeah that's the good news if you're not a patron of harry or felix you will be able to download this apartment and not miss that many items pretty soon and i didn't use that many other like exclusive items so it shouldn't be a problem for you you can just replace the items i think it's just like a few clutter pieces, maybe plants, but that's pretty much it. So my favorite rooms of this apartment are the living room and the kitchen slash dining here. And what you're seeing right now is like one of my favorite ideas ever. I used this uh, like clothes hanger from Tud's Cross set. And then I hang some mugs on that using the tool mod and the mugs are from the MCM set by Pierre Sim. I also did something similar there with the hanging pictures and I just really love that idea. It's so cute. It did take a few minutes like to get the mugs in place but it was totally worth it. And a few things that I like about the living room that I didn't get a chance to talk about is the fireplace. Um, I put like shelves in it with books, but please, if you download this apartment, do not turn that fireplace on. I don't know what's gonna happen, but I think it's a fire hazard, so your house, your apartment might catch some fire if you turn on the fireplace. I didn't test out if you can turn it on, but just in case, if you can, just don't do it. It's supposed to be like this decorative fireplace, like it's a fake one, but it isn't. I used an actual fireplace, so just, yeah, don't turn on the fireplace if you download this. And the other thing is that I used an ironing board in the living room as a like a side table and I put like some plants and a radio on it and I just thought it's a cute idea and what I really love about the bedroom here is this office corner I really love how the desk looks like it looks pretty organized and aesthetic and it just seems like someone who lives here like works from home and that is their work corner and it's absolutely adorable and I don't know if you noticed those things I put underneath the PC and the tablet but the one I put under the PC is basically this like pool guide piece from get together I'm not sure what its original use is but the reason I used it is because you can elevate it with tool so i placed it on the desk underneath the pc and the one i placed under the tablet is actually a cushion from the grove set by felix andre and i don't know i just wanted to put something underneath those electronic devices but you can't elevate rugs unfortunately so i had to look for alternatives to be able to do that and we only have this bathroom, it's the final room of this speed build and then that's it. So yeah, thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this speed build and I'm gonna see you again in less than a month. I'm gonna miss you so so much but hopefully I won't be gone for too long. Um, wish me all the luck on my move and if you haven't watched my previous video where I did talk about the move and everything then go and watch it and yeah I'll be seeing you pretty soon guys love you bye